What's up, Mac Town? Ryan here, out here in Tyler, Texas at Lindsay Park. See how low he can go. All right, what's up, y'all? Out here in Tyler, Texas, like I said, Lindsay Park, they've got three courses. The original course is the blue layout. I forget the name of it. They've got the dogwood yellow, which is the advanced layout. I actually just did a video on that one. Um, but this is the red layout. This is the cedar layout. I think this is the easiest one out of the layouts that they've got. I'm gonna play the short pads to the short pass baskets. It's only about 5,300 feet. First hole, 250 feet straight ahead. Mind bender. That's better. That's long and left. Hey, it's retroactive, Ryan. I'm almost done with this video, but if you haven't already, go down, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't turned on your notifications, leave a comment. I'm gonna give you some time to do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to your regularly scheduled program. All to 189 feet uphill, just underneath those trees. I'm gonna go cash at it. Oh, that kind of got a weird kick. Should be a birdie though. Nice little 12 footer for bird. All right, this one is 385 feet downhill into the shade right there. He T pad is a little sandy. But we're gonna go vibe. Now fade. Hitting that tree should help it fade. Oh, that might be a circle two bit at it. Just inside C1. Pretty good shot. I will take it. If it gets inside of that tree just a little bit more and doesn't grab it, I'm probably pretty close to parked. Oh my goodness, and then I just not a very committed putt. 322 feet to the right. I'm not sure how far right it goes, so I'm just gonna play FD3 right here. Hopefully get a nice skip. Oh, that looks like it's probably a little low. That's probably just gonna be a par from there. I think I threw it too low. Nature moment. Six lined race runner, I think is what that lizard's called. I think, pretty sure. Pretty cute. Didn't quite hit the height right. Long C2 step putt. Oh, right at the pin of it. I'll take easy pars. I like easy pars. Easy pars are fun. Easy pars help my brain. Hole five, 300 foot par three, straight ahead. I think I'm just gonna have to go with my Zen. Um, kind of play up the left side, get a little hyzer flip, hopefully turn. I just get it turning underneath that low ceiling up there. Nope, too much hyzer. I got worried about my footing. Looks like I went into the stuff you don't really wanna go into. There's more lizards that I'm scaring out of here. Nice little touchy PA5 just through this gap, just trying to get something out there. I'll take it. Now would be a really good time to hit a C2 putt. I would not complain about it, that's for sure. Oh. Gave it a good run. Hole six, 260 feet. You got this tree that's straight ahead, and the basket's probably 80 feet to the right of that. Captain's Raptor. No, that's too inside. Got knocked down. Kind of down here in the creek area. But it is dry. I don't know if you can see me. 
I should be able to see the disc. <sighs> nope, way short, goodness. <sighs> oh, that putt felt good. Haven't been doing that all day. Hole seven, 353 feet through this gap to the right back there. We're gonna throw forehand yeet. Oh, that's way too wide. Saw it come crashing down though. All right, I'm right back here in this creek bed, but not in the creek. I think we're just gonna go kind of high forehand flick, let something just kind of pan over there towards the basket. It's a new shot that I'm working on, trying to add it to my game. It's a good get out of jail free card if you're able to have a little bit of touch on an understable disc on a forehand. Oh, so we're one over. Basket is back behind the big clump of trees. It's 280, playing into the wind, playing a little uphill. I think I'm gonna go Vanguard at it. Got OB on this fence up the right side, but I'm throwing it right at the sand pile next to that truck. That's the that's my aiming point. That, that should be pretty good. That should be really good. That's pretty much a perfect shot. Just outside bullseye. Gorgeous. Signature hole right here, hole number nine. 280 feet. Gonna go Vanguard again. Maybe play this a touch higher, see if I can't crash this in. Oh, that's way high. That is way left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's hilarious. Gonna go with a mutant. Just try to land something up there on the on the steps if I can. Oh, uh, might be a little short. All right, we'll get headwind putt at it. All right, hold ten, 300 feet up there, top of the hill. There is a road over here to the right. It looks like there's space over here to the left. I think that basket's fairly close to the road. I'm gonna go with a stable, primo vibe from Hooligan Discs. If you haven't checked them out yet, you need to. Hang it out there to the right a little bit. Let it swing back in. Gave it the height. Swing in, drop, 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 drop. Okay, that's not, I think I see one. Came up much shorter than I expected, but got a 40-ish footer. Come on, let's make a step putt today. Oh! <laughs> I was running it in early, I thought I had it. Dang it. All right, hole 11, 283 feet. Straight ahead. You do not want to go long because it's pretty much right on the curb of the road right here. So I'm going to go MD3, kind of play it at that pine tree that's to the right of the sign way down there. Let it swing in. Hopefully have a close birdie putt. Got it wide enough. I'll go in. Oh, wow, okay, that was short. So, eight, nine, okay. That's what I thought. Inside circle, Texas flip, um, is like maybe six feet past that basket. So, we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna commit to this, or we're not gonna commit to it, we're gonna leave it low in the basket. It's all good. 217 feet, yellow basket straight ahead. Just gonna play a nice easy zone shot. Kind of over this bush up here to the right. Swing it in, let it land soft. 
Oh, that's gonna need to skip off the street. Oh, okay. Okay. U disc says go to the drop zone, so I'm assuming that this is the drop zone. So sitting here, just outside circle, putting for par. Just short again. 250 feet, little downhill, right back there up under that tree. I'm gonna go MV. Oh, and I hit that tree. Whew, I'm getting, getting tired, y'all. Basket's right up there. I'm gonna leave the camera here. You won't see me how to frame, but hopefully you'll see a decent shot. Not a little too much angle. Hit the tree. Big C2 putt right here. Gonna have to kinda go directly at it underneath this tree if I want a chance to save par here. Oh, that honestly wasn't horrible. That's like a bogey there. T pad's right here. Basket down the tunnel, way over to the left. 380-ish feet, par three. I'm gonna practice a shot here. I'm gonna go with my flippy hooligan discs vibe and try to hit it on a pushing hyzer, get it working left and see if it'll flip as it's getting around the corner. Yep, just like that. Basket's kind of straight ahead. I'm gonna try to flex my zone. Kind of around this bush that's in front of me. Let it just nestle up nicely to that. Actually, no, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try and get this kind of narrowish gap right in front of me. Yep, right there, perfect. Now sit nice, sit nice. Oh, good. Looks like it should be a tap in par. I'm pretty sure I was blocking the shot, but I was right back there. Went through this gap right here, up there. And right there, tap in par. All right, this is whole 15's view from eye level. Basket out there in the sun over the crest of the hill. I'm gonna take y'all up there and get a little catch cam action. Drop in birdie. That feels nice. All right, so you can't see the basket from the tee pad, but it's in those trees just over that berm. I'm just gonna go with my Zen here. Oh, that's way too much to the left. Whoo, I got tired and that slipped out because I got sweaty, sweaty hands right now. The target line on this hole is much further left or much further to the right. And it looks, you really wanna get going to this right side, basically to the bridge where the camera's at and then swing in through the gap, through any gap on this side. You definitely don't wanna miss left because I am down over this berm and I've got about a bajillion trees that I've gotta to try to snake my shot through somehow. Oh, I think it would have been pretty close to being good. Oh, it's the right idea. I just didn't give it enough pace. Didn't want to go mega long. Hole 17, 433 feet, way uphill, a little to the left. Just gonna go Zen. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. We're dead center of the fairway. Exactly what I wanted to do. We're gonna go zone. Kind of out here to this left gap. Oh, we go way inside, hit a tree, got a long putt. C2 putt would be nice to have. Nope. Oh man, this isn't necessarily a gimme either. And so, these are putts that bite me in the butt whenever I'm playing in tournaments. Take it. Final hole, three over. Basket is kind of 
and the left gap out of those skinny pine trees. You got the left gap, you got the middle gap, you got the right gap. Gonna go uh, origin. Oh, that might be, it might be way too long. Man, I just picked this thing up today. I've been like a collective, I don't know. I think I've been inside 10 feet every single time I've thrown it. That birdie puts me at two over on the round, which feels pretty good. Um, normal course average score on this layout I think is like eight over according to UDISC. Two over, not too upset about that. First time ever coming out and playing here. My legs are dead, 36 holes. Um, if you've never been out here, make sure you bring water, make sure you bring your hiking shoes. Uh, maybe take some of your discs out of your bag because it'll get tiring. There's a lot of elevation and there's, on this red layout, there's a lot of walking between the holes. But we appreciate all the love you've given us, guys. We appreciate um, all the views and everything. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, helps us out in the algorithm. Share it with somebody you love, and we'll catch y'all next time on MacTown Disc Golf. Mwah.